we're doing today is bringing City Hall out to the community. I've lived in Jamaica Plain since 1972. I'm always interested in talking to the people who get the work done in the city and uh, thank them for the stuff they've been doing and urge them to do a little bit better in Jamaica Plain day by day. As a veteran, before I worked for the city, I did not, I did not even know what Veteran Services Chapter 115 was. Um, and there's a lot of other resources that I'm aware of now. I didn't, I did not even, oh, I was not even aware of them. So I guess now we kind of do it word of mouth. By being here, you remember, hey, Pierre told me this is what's available for the veterans. Um, you can either contact me and be like, hey, I have, I have a veteran who needs help. Or if you know anything, you can even tell them yourself. This is very important. I'm public information manager at Boston Centers for Youth and Families. We run 36 facilities in Boston, community centers that have gyms, pools, all kinds of programming. I'm hoping that I can meet people who don't know about our two centers here in Jamaica Plain and that I can get them to find something that they would want to try out and stop by the center. And I'm the Commissioner of Inspectional Services Department. It's the department that if you have any questions about the environment that you live in, uh, please feel free to call us. The acronym that we always talk about is that if you walk on it, over it, through it, or around it, we permit it. I want to reach people who don't already go to our centers, let them know about the great things we offer and hopefully get them in the door. It's a good way to reach people because you might come in here to talk to one particular department or agency, but then you end up visiting several and, and you may have an interaction with another department that you didn't plan on. So um, I'm, I'm expecting we'll all get benefits from that spillover effect. I've lived here for 14 years. It's a real good idea because you may have little questions about one little thing and you'll find an answer here. I learned about at all of the, um, the new areas that they're doing construction on and I learned about at the BCYF, the, the, uh, the programs that they offer all our kids and that was nice. So the Office of Fair Housing and Equity, we investigate housing discrimination in the city of Boston. Um, and so that means folks can bring us any discrimination complaints they have in housing. We find that often people don't know, there are a lot of, uh, the, there are a lot of agencies in the city that do housing work, but it's really hard to figure out who does what in housing. And because we investigate housing discrimination, people don't always know what their housing rights are. So yes, we do find these events really helpful. The Mayor's Office of Recovery Services, or ORS for short, is to coordinate all recovery services across the city. So that means access to addiction treatment or substance use care, prevention, all levels of service, um, as well as making sure that we're working well with other city departments such as the police department, the fire department, EMS. Um, we really just want to make sure that recovery and substance use support is on the mind of every city department. Currently in the midst of a national opioid epidemic where people are dying in record numbers, um, accidental overdose is the number one cause of uh, death in the United States right now. Um, so we're really mindful of that and we're really just trying to stem the epidemic and do what we can at the municipal level. We're the first municipal recovery office in the United States. We really urge people to do is call 311. If you have any questions related to substance use or addiction for yourself or for someone else that you love or care about, um, you can call 311 any hour of the day, 24-7, you can get the support you need. I was told that there is a, this thing is happening, they're bringing all the city uh, services to the neighborhood. I thought it was a great idea to come down and check it out. But they're doing a great job here. This is great. It's making it a lot easier instead of going in the city to get the information. This is the fourth time we've done this, uh, bringing City Hall out to the neighborhood. We're in Jamaica Plain tonight. Uh, people are excited. People love the idea of being able to talk about city services and they can go right to the department head or the cabinet head. So we're pretty excited about this and uh, it seems like we're, we're going to keep this going for the rest of the year and try to hit every, most of the neighborhoods in the city.